Welcome everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, I want to show you the proper way to install a mattress or box spring encasement. Um, obviously, encasements are a very important part of a bed bug control and monitoring program. Um, we use them to lock bugs into mattresses or lock bugs into box springs and help simplify bed bug control. And then we also use them proactively to help us identify bed bugs, you know, much easier, you know, in the future. Here you've got a mattress and obviously there's tons of hiding spots on this mattress. But if I take an encasement and put it over this, there's not a lot of places for those bugs to hide. They tend to become much easier to see. And so what I want to do is just show you real quick uh, installing an encasement on this mattress. Um, there's not really a lot to really be, you know, aware of. Um, the one thing I can't, you know, show in this video is all the different encasements that are out there. There's a ton of different encasements and every one's going to be designed slightly differently and, uh, you know, each one may be installed slightly differently. Uh, the one that I'm going to show you today is a protective bed mattress encasement. Um, those are the ones that we commonly work with and are familiar with. And so, what I have here is the encasement. I've already taken it out of the packaging. And uh, I've opened the zipper up. And so what you're going to do is take it out of the packaging and open the zipper up all the way around to the point where I have it right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing it around and drape it over top of the mattress and then slide it along and pull it down. And so Obviously, you have the encasement draped over the mattress here. Um, that's the first step in installation. And one of the things I want to say real quick is that whenever you're doing this, you really should be using two people to help you maneuver these mattresses around. Uh, I'm going to show you just for demonstration purposes me doing this myself. Um, the reason why we say that is because obviously mattresses and box springs and whatnot, depending on the size, can be very heavy. And we'd hate to see somebody hurt themselves, their back, whatever the case may be, trying to do this on your own. And so you really should have two people doing this. And so I want to make that disclaimer up front. Um, but here we have the encasement draped over the actual mattress and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and zip this side down. We're going to lay the encasement down and then just go ahead and you're probably going to watch me struggle with the zipper now because it's just the way that it tends to go. You go ahead and Zip it completely closed, and go ahead and stand it back up. And so that is a mattress encasement installation. You know, not a lot of complexity to it, pretty straightforward. Uh, you just want to make sure you go ahead and throw it on, seal it closed, and uh, away you go. And so what I want to do now is I want to show you a little bit about the box spring. Now this box spring is a little unique. Um, obviously we're here in a hotel room. Uh, was what was available to us to, to show you the mattress encasement installation. Um, and what I want to do is talk a little bit about some of the things you need to consider when you're looking at a box spring and a box spring encasement installation. So we're going to flip this up. And so as you can see, it, like I said, this is a little bit of a unique setting where the uh, bed frame is actually adhered to the uh, metal part of the actual frame itself. Um, that's the way this hotel does what it does and so that that's fine what I want to point out is that when you're putting uh, you know an encasement on a box spring um, the most important thing you need to consider is where the box spring is touching the bed frame itself um, anywhere that there's a sharp edge or some sort of pressure point is an area that could potentially tear that box spring encasement and remember the box spring is the most common area that we find bed bugs and the most important area when it comes to bed bug control or one of the most important areas and so whenever you're putting, or right before you put the box spring back down with the encasement on, you want to go through and you want to look for small areas where you have screw holes, maybe there's a little, uh, whatever, fold in the, in the metal itself, any place that you see, and you can usually tell by looking at the bottom of the box spring, you'll actually see little wear points on the box spring itself, and that's how you can tell where it's making excessive contact with the bed frame. And all you want to do is take a piece of sticky sided felt, I've even seen people use duct tape, and put a little bit of something to pad in that area on the top of the bed frame itself so it doesn't tear that box spring encasement. You can check that periodically. If you see a small tear, you could potentially seal it with a piece of, let's say, white duct tape or some other adhesive. And if it's a big enough tear, you may have to replace that box spring encasement. And basically that's, that's box spring encasements. The installation itself is really not any different than the mattress. You want to make sure you go through 
and look for any type of sharp area also on the box spring itself. The fabric is adhered with these staples. You want to make sure none of those staples are sticking up that could potentially tear the encasement. And then you also want to pay attention to the, to the end corners where they have those plastic end caps. You may have to remove those if you think that plastic end cap is going to tear the encasement. Go ahead and put your encasement on, pad the bed frame, put the, encase, uh, the box spring itself back down, and away you go. And so that's a mattress and box spring installation. Um, pretty straightforward, but you know, good information to make sure everybody does it right because it is an important part of both bed bug control and ongoing detection. If you have any questions about encasements, encasement installation, or anything bed bug related, you know how to reach me, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com, and I hope to see everybody soon enough.